we will release an amazing new model this year. We'll release over in the coming months many different things. Uh, I think that'd be very cool what you'd expect from a GPT-5. Hey everyone, exciting news. It seems like the OpenAI Strawberry model is set to drop much sooner than we expected. According to a recent scoop from the information, OpenAI is gearing up to roll out Strawberry as part of its chat GPT service within the next two weeks. So if you're hyped about this like I am, hit that like button and subscribe to AI Gridlock and stay tuned. This is no time to zone out. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Strawberry won't just be another feature bundled into chat GPT. Instead, it's going to be some sort of standalone option. We're not entirely sure how it'll show up maybe as a new choice in the drop-down menu under chat GPT, or perhaps it'll get its own separate tab or column. But what really sets Strawberry apart is its unique approach to processing responses. Unlike the usual instant replies we're used to, Strawberry introduces a thinking phase that lasts about 10 to 20 seconds, according to some early testers. This pause allows the model to reason through its answers more thoroughly, making it potentially better at complex tasks like multi-step planning and reasoning. So if you've been keeping up with all the QSTAR and Strawberry model leaks and updates, you know the drill. The whole point here is to create a smarter, more thoughtful AI that takes a moment to think things through before jumping in with a response. Sounds like a game changer, right? Stay tuned, because as soon as it drops, we'll be diving right into what makes Strawberry so different and whether it lives up to the hype. Don't miss out. All right, so here's the scoop if you've been using the chain of thought prompting technique. You know how it works. You ask the model to break down its answer step by step reasoning through each part before it finally spits out a response. Often, this approach results in much more accurate answers. Well, with the upcoming Strawberry model, it seems like this reasoning process is baked right in. We've seen similar features in other models where they use a sort of invisible scratch pad to think things through. It's like the AI is jotting down notes in the background stuff we don't normally see unless you manage to jailbreak the model a bit. The AI figures it all out on the side, and then once it's ready, it presents the polished answer to you. Strawberry seems like it could be doing something along these lines. So what does this mean in practice? Well, Strawberry could be a game changer for tasks like solving math problems, coding, and even more subjective business tasks like brainstorming product marketing strategies. Imagine an AI that's not just throwing out answers but actually taking a moment to consider and reason through complex issues sounds pretty cool, right? But there's a catch. Some early testers are saying that the 10 to 20 seconds it takes for Strawberry to think might not always feel worth it for the quality improvement. We'll all have to test it out ourselves and see if that extra wait time really pays off. And let's be real, sometimes you just need an answer right away. Like if you're about to head out the door and ask, what's the weather today? You want that answer now, not 20 seconds later. So it'll be interesting to see how this all balances out. In any case, this is something OpenAI and Sam Altman have been hinting at for a while, balancing the speed of response with the depth and quality of answers. We'll soon find out if Strawberry strikes the right balance. All right, so let's talk about the kinds of tasks where you don't need immediate results. Think about working with a team or interns you're not expecting them to deliver instant answers, right? You give them instructions, and they take hours, days, or even weeks to work through the task, then report back with what they've accomplished. This concept is exactly what we're exploring with AI agents creating space for them to take on tasks, do the heavy lifting behind the scenes, and only get back to you when the job is done. Imagine you're developing some code maybe for an app or a game. How much better would it be if the AI could go off, spend time designing, writing, and troubleshooting the code, and then come back to you with a finished product? No more tedious back and forth, no more stopping to correct errors every step of the way. You can focus on other things while the AI works in the background, handling the complex tasks autonomously. This is a huge leap toward AI models with agentic behavior models that can execute tasks on their own and only loop you in when they're finished. This is the direction OpenAI seems to be moving with the Strawberry model, which is set to roll out soon. Just recently, Philip, who's been following all the ChatGPT updates, mentioned on his YouTube channel that the highly anticipated Strawberry upgrade is expected by September 24th. If we're going by recent articles suggesting a two-week release window, that's our best guess for now. But here's the twist there's chatter out there that Strawberry, or similar advanced models, could pose some risks some are even calling it a potential threat to humanity. While that sounds dramatic, it's a reminder that as we push forward with AI, there are big considerations on the table about how far we let these models run on their own. So keep your eyes peeled as we approach the expected launch date. We're all eager to see if Strawberry lives up to the hype and whether these new AI agents really can strike that perfect balance of independence and utility. So here's the latest buzz some former OpenAI staff and sources like Reuters have hinted that the Strawberry model could reach human-level reasoning. 
Bloomberg leaked similar expectations, but according to early testers, the reality might be a bit underwhelming. While Strawberry is supposed to deliver more thoughtful answers, some testers are saying the slightly improved responses aren't worth the 10 to 20 second wait time, and the model tends to take this time even if you don't need it to. Plus, there's the cost factor it's expected to be pricey, which raises the question, does everything really add up here? We're all excited to test it on Simple Bench, but it's still a bit of a wait and see situation. And let's not forget, some folks are already saying Strawberry isn't the real threat, it's Orion that we need to keep an eye on. And another twist it seems like the Strawberry model we'll get to play with might not be the full-fledged version. Rumor has it, we'll only have access to a quantized, scaled-down variant. So there's still a lot up in the air, and plenty of questions that need answers. It's going to be fascinating to see how this pans out, even if Strawberry doesn't hit a home run with every query. If it can excel at specific, targeted tasks, that alone could be a game-changer. So while we're still piecing together the full picture, there's no doubt that the AI landscape is about to get a lot more interesting. Now imagine if OpenAI or any other company figures out a smart gating mechanism that routes your questions to the most suitable model kind of like what we've already seen with routing simpler queries to cheaper models and saving the heavy hitters for more complex tasks. If they can nail this, then maybe tasks that require deep chain of thought reasoning and careful planning will be routed specifically to the Strawberry model. But as with all things AI, it's a bit of a waiting game. We'll see if the hype lives up to reality once Strawberry drops supposedly within the next two weeks though we've all seen these timelines slip before. Fingers crossed it lands on schedule. Thanks for sticking with us until the end. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to AI Gridlock for your regular dose of the latest in AI trends and updates. See you in the next one.